this curve is rotated about y-axis and the volume that is generated as a result uh, we need to find that volume so when we look at the curve we can rewrite this one this one is the equation of a circle the center is 0 1 and radius is 1 so if we draw this one 0 1 so that will be center so it's like this so that's 0 1 uh, sorry 1 which is here the center and this is revolved around y axis so this point this is origin 0 0 and this is 0 2 because the radius is 1 so if we look at this one we we will try to use we will use disk method for this one we can use any of the methods but disk method seems appropriate so when this is revolved around y axis we can think of one of this section which the thickness is dy so thickness of one disk and this distance is of course y uh, sorry x because this is x axis this is y so we will rewrite it x square plus y minus 1 square is equal to 1 so x becomes 1 minus y minus 1 square and square root that is x uh, so pi x square dy is the area is the volume of one disk because pi r square pi r square is the uh, surface area of the disk and then multiplied by dy is the volume so we will integrate it from 0 to 2 we have to do that to find the total volume so x square dy so variable is y we will rewrite it in terms of y so 1 uh, sorry yeah 1 minus y minus 1 square uh, square root then again square so that's there 0 2 so of course this is just the square so this is 1 minus y square minus becoming plus 2y minus 1 and dy here so pi here 0 2 here so these two getting cancelled 2y minus y square dy so if we integrate it it will become 2y will become 2y square over 2 and this will become y3 over 3 y cube and that's 2 0 so pi here y square that is 4 minus 8 over 3 that's there so this is the uh, we can say this is 12 4 over 3 so 4 pi over 3 cubic unit is the volume that is generated